Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Hello, everyone. My name is High Priestess Ishra, and today it's a shame on you with Shells Ohana Realty. Shells Ohana Realty. Shells Ohana Realty is one of the real estate places located here in Oahu, and I dealt with them. And I'm just going to give you my opinion without the ego, without the judgment on how they deal with their clients. Now, in the beginning of my experience with Shells O'Hana, they were very professional, they were very nice, they were very kind. Um, they also dealt with programs like Section 8 and Housing Authority. So, they have a lot of different types of clients. When I dealt with Shells O'Hana, I told them specifically I was looking for a long-term and lo well and behold, a year after being in the apartment, I was being asked to vacate. If you don't know rules and regulations of Hawaii, and you guys please feel free to check out my in-depth video, Housing and Hawaii. That's Housing and Hawaii. Um, and I have a very large perspective living out here for the years I've been living out here and there's a lot of things that a lot of people should need to know especially people who have programs people who come out here because of spiritual reasons and people who are just searching for answers that they couldn't find anywhere else now throughout the year before they asked me to vacate because here in Hawaii they have a law that if the landlord wants you out no matter how good of a tenant you are you have to be within 30 days of the notice, or the police will come after the 30 days to vacate you out. There are no courts, there are no um, uh, eviction notices, or times, times, um, time of saying how long they're gonna be there. No, in 30 days you have to leave one year after your lease. And come to find out, um, they wanted more money because Section 8 had just reduce their amount on how much the rent is and I just feel they did an executive edition and they wanted to get more money into the apartment which is their prerogative but dealing with Shell Zohana as the property managers every time I told them about something they had a problem with it even though when we were filling out the lease they said to me and reminded me over and over again um, well, tell us about the issues of the apartment before it gets too bad. You know, so anytime there was a simple problem, I would let them know. Once I actually went to the office to tell her about a situation, an issue in the apartment that I didn't think she got the message of, and I went to the office, and by the end of it all, she was threatening to call the cops on me. And I, it, it wasn't even that serious, but she was threatening to call the cops on me. Long story short, they asked me to vacate, they asked me to leave, which I did. I, I never stay where I'm not wanted. But I did inform the property managers that I was looking for something long term. So, with all of that being said, and when I moved out, I made sure I left that house as empty as possible and it was basically empty the only thing that was left in the apartment was a fake wooden entertainment system that I couldn't get out by myself because I'm a single mom I could not get out by myself and of course the painted walls I told her I have to paint my walls because of my disability and she was like well you have to get permission first and da 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 I wasn't doing all that I painted my walls when my disabled ass was able to paint the motherfucking wall, she would have to just take that out of the security. So I went to go drop off the keys because they locked the door way sooner than I thought they would. They actually locked up my food in, in, in the refrigerator and, and said they would never saw it when I asked for it back. I thought that was kind of petty. I thought that was kind of petty. Kaveki. I thought that was kind of petty. But no, that was Kaveki's mom that said that shit. I thought that was petty. But I thought that was really, really petty. But it is what it is. Like, I wasn't mad before and I'm not mad now. I'm just trying to warn as many people who are who may be looking under a search and want to know about this real estate agency here in Oahu called Shells Ohana. Because that's what I'm going to tag it on. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a good woman and I'm kind and I'm nice and I'm not rude to people. But sometimes, even the people with the most money 
are very unhappy. And as a spiritual healer, I try not to get into people's business, but I could feel the unhappiness within the real estate office. But I'm minding my own business, taking care of my world, you know, being a master of my universe. You know what I mean? <laughs> of my universe. So I dropped off the key and she goes to me, you left the house in a mess. Excuse me, Kavika's mother. I mean, Kavehi's mother. It was the older lady. I don't know her name. She said, you left the house a mess. It was despicable. How dare you? I have a recording of the apartment, but it's on the same phone within another phone that's closed right now. But I recorded that shit. There was nothing in that house. I was very prideful of leaving that house empty. Just like I left it. The only change was the, the color of the walls and the different rooms. That's it. And you were mad about that, Kavika's mother, Kavehi's mother. You were mad because I painted the walls. But I explained to your daughter, it's because of my disability. Okay? So know that Shel Zohana will portray one thing but then act like another. And I thought it was just me. I thought it was just me that thought this way. And I just thought maybe I'm feeling some type of way. I could be wrong. And then I meet another woman on the island who said she dealt with shells on Ohana and she went through the same shit. One year lease, then they asked her to leave. When it comes to these housing vouchers, when it comes to these um, voucher programs or assisted living where a third party is paying for the rent, a lot of these real estate agencies don't take you as a serious paying client. And I'm here to tell you if you have Section 8, if you have Housing Authority, if you have the Vet YNI centers covering your rent or one of these non, one of these not too many because they're cutting down all these fundings that low income families need, but all of these different organizations that help pay for the rent, their money is just as good as regular coming out of the pocket from your job. And not everybody will treat you as such. So keep in mind when dealing with Shells O'Hana that they'll sometimes treat you nice and sometimes treat you dirty. So don't believe everything they say. You know, they kept their office clean. I, I like that. They kept their office clean. They rented me a house for one year, which I loved. I loved the house that I rented, um, I was in. And I, I got a deal for it. It was a beautiful three-bedroom. And they basement marketed it super low. And I got it. And I enjoyed that year, you know, and I'm on to the next. But know that Shells Ohana, I give it two and three quarter stars. Two and three quarter stars. My name is High Priestess Ishura. I am a dark goddess here out here in Oahu, Hawaii. And if you're looking for any of my spiritual services, please feel free to check out my business page at Dark Goddess 99 on Facebook. Dark Goddess 99 on Facebook and my backdoor business page at Tantra Temple of Alchemy at Tantra Temple of Alchemy okay you guys check this out it's so beautiful out here it is beautiful out here So, this has been my review of Shells Ohana here in Oahu, Hawaii. Shame on you, Shells Ohana. I deserved way better than that. But it's all good. I'm moving forward. And I hope you do too. Later, you guys.